<sighs> so where to even start? Okay. So this was a period in my life where I was an absolute club fiend. Just young and full of testosterone, trying to follow the old self-improvement advice. Bro, just get out there and meet people. So I had my days. I was well into the trenches. But here's one thing. I don't drink and I can't dance. I just can't. So much of what many of you may already assume. The club sucked for me. While well, I was in this particular nightclub, however, there was this room that was exclusively for karaoke on Wednesday nights. Now, I'm not good at a lot of things, but one thing I can do, believe it or not, is sing like an angel. I remember thinking, this is the thing that's gonna get me the girls, bro. Girls love singers and talent, right? I would go to every Wednesday night, and I did this religiously for a good solid year. So if I had to summarize the whole year's experience in one sentence, I would say that I should definitely win the most Jester Max Dude in the Club award. I would dress up in trendy clothes like ripped jeans and wear a baseball cap trying to fit in. And I'm not trying to brag, but I did sing amazingly. And yeah, it garnered some well-warranted attention. But I was under this false impression that attention equals attraction. If you don't get anything out of this video, I want you to understand this. Attention does not equate to attraction. But I misled myself into thinking that, hey, this girl seems really to be enjoying my singing. She must be into me, right? <laughs> so one night I was singing. This girl came up and picked up the second microphone and started doing the harmony with me on this one song. We did our thing, everyone clapped, and everyone loved it. I remember thinking the whole time, as we were finishing the second half of the song, I was literally thinking in my head as I was singing, hey, why not ask this girl for her Snapchat? She's totally into me, bro, I swear. <laughs> so I went all out. I would walk along the crowd and sing to them and... I mentioned I couldn't dance, right? Well, I tried doing this thing. I, I don't know what to even call it. This little stepping move that you see boy bands do whenever they sing. Oh god, why did I ever think that was a good idea? I'll never know. So then after the song came to an end, she gave me the ceremonial Christian side hug and was about to step off the stage and leave. But me being on my self-improvement grind, dog, I was like, nah, bro, don't bitch up and fold. I actually made a valiant and decent effort and said, hey, you seem pretty cool. Let me get your Snapchat. And guess what? She looks at me, looks at her friends. Her friends kind of give this disapproving sort of look. And she just walked away. Here I was, just honestly blue pill AF, thinking, oh, to win the girl, you just need to make her laugh. You need to entertain her. You need to make her smile. Well, guys, I did that. Completely gesture maxed my way to nothingness. It was this particular night, that very moment, when something finally clicked in my head, something was up. All the movies and books I've read, all the fairy tales and love stories, I've been lied to. And even during this time, I wouldn't have even considered myself blue pill. I was aware of female nature and hypergamy and was for real on my self-improvement grind. But it wasn't until I experienced this rejection, even with self-improvement, game and PUA, all that shit, that I began to question if there was something more underneath that I wasn't keying in on. I wasted so much time focusing on all the wrong things. The way you carry yourself is important, yeah, but if you don't meet the baseline looks threshold, you're toast. You're just toast. Looks gets your foot in the door, and confidence seals the deal. That's what I say. But I just never had the look, especially for the nightclub setting. 
all the guys who were pulling were usually all tall and white, and that's the truth. I'm a short rice boy, and it's as simple as that. I'm not even mad about it. People have preferences in the real world, and I was coping so hard to try to negate that. But human nature can never truly be negated. No matter how hard the world tries to reprogram or overcorrect itself, if you preach being all inclusive and say everyone has a fair chance, get the fuck out of here. No, we don't. If you're someone like me, just don't waste time in all these places where you're just doomed from the start. I should have focused my attention elsewhere, on the niche dating market where I would have better chances. Like running day game on campus or bookstores, coffee shops, I don't know. I just wish I knew all this sooner. So yeah, I didn't get the girl. I didn't get her Snapchat. I wasn't even worthy enough to be an orbiter. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe I'm good enough somewhere else. And maybe you are too. That's going to be it for today's video. Leave a like on your way out. Comment down below some of the places you think that are better for meeting quality people. I'd really like your thoughts on that. And remember, it's better to know than to not know. I'll see you next time.